So I did a series of videos where I was calibrating some instruments and there was some very touchy adjustments and, and you, you'll run across that a lot. Some adjustments seem to be easy to make and some adjustments need uh, seem to be touchy to make. And some people attributed that to, oh, you had a bad component, you know, your, 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 your potentiometer, your, your rheostat, whatever, was dirty and maybe you should have uh, cleaned it or something and maybe it's, maybe it's aged and you need to replace it. And all of those things are absolutely valid. But um, in my experience, 99% of the time, it came down to, yeah, it's just a hard adjustment. Sorry, that particular design, it's just a hard adjustment. And how does that happen? And I'll give you some insight of how that happens. So um, here I'm designing a circuit and I need some voltage offset. I have some offset in my, in my circuit that needs to be zeroed out. And it's something I can't just do. It has to be an adjustment at manufacturing time or at calibration time. And so I'm gonna have to put some type of variable um, a device in there and so I, I'm going to choose a, a, a 10k uh, a 10k pot and uh, I know that the voltage is somewhere around ground and uh, so I'm going to just put it a voltage divider here from my plus and minuses and that way I'll be able to I'll be able to get zero and I'll be able to zero it out and everything will be fine okay and so here's my little circuit over here and here's my adjustment and everything's just fine okay and I can I can tweak this little thing and, and everything is great. Now, um, okay, so I was the designer, I designed it, and it got sent to manufacturing, and then somebody has to run uh, a production, right? And they start to have to build these things, and they start to adjust them. And then they uh, get a bunch of units and they send them in for um, characterization. And they figure out what the circuit does under characterization. And then once they get all the statistics from, from uh, uh, the data that they have, they can write a data sheet. And they can guarantee to the end customer it will perform a, a particular way. And then they will come out with an adjustment setting for this. They'll say, okay, this has to be set within a particular tolerance, okay? And let's say that they did that for this particular circuit. And uh, the test engineers and manufacturing engineers decided that it needs to be within uh, 0 0.05 volts. Uh, anywhere in that range, then the instrument will meet specifications, okay? And so uh, let's go ahead and be, be pretend that we're the, uh, we're the uh, uh, manufacturing line. And so I'm going to reach over. I'm going to grab that pot. I'm going to go, okay, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this to point zero. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, 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 point, no, point oh six. Uh, let me go this way. Nope, too much. Let me go back. And I'm not exaggerating. Uh, this is touchy. So this particular, no, a little bit farther. Uh, there we go. Okay, I kind, of, kind of sprang back. Uh, some people say you should bang on the board and try to get to settle now. So anyway, it sprang back, point oh two. It's within spec. We're all set to go, okay? Now that was hard to do. That was a touchy adjustment, okay? Now, if the designer had known ahead of time that this was a touchy adjustment. Now, usually what happens is the guys who design the circuits, they're worth money, right? They get paid a lot of money. And so they're already off designing the new product. And this is like an old product now, even though it even hasn't been out the door yet, they're off designing the new thing. And it's the, it's the characterization team, the, the reliability team, the test team, the manufacturing team that has to go do all this other stuff. Well, um, if, <laughs> let's say, if, they go back and they, they tell the designer, hey, your circuit's stupid. It's really, really hard to adjust that. He'll go, oh, okay, I can fix that for you. And what he'll do is he'll do this. Minus 12, plus 12. And he'll put in three resistors, okay? And we'll just keep it simple. We'll put in a 10K, 10K, and 10K, okay? And uh, now... The number of volts per degree, if you think of a, a potentiometer as a clock, the number of volts per degree was big here, right? You had 24 volts, and let's say it goes between zero, zero degrees and, and 180 degrees. And you're, you're traveling an entire 24 volts here. You're going all the way up to plus 12, and you went all the way down to minus 12. But here, we're limited. We can only go up to uh, about... Uh, five volts and we can go down to about minus five volts and so we've limited the travel which means the number of volts per degree turn is going to be different here and it will make it easier to adjust okay 
So we're going to go over here. We're going to do a uh, uh, engineering, what, what are they used to call those things? Engineering changes, e engineering design. I forget what those things used to be called. Every company has a different, a different, uh, a different name for them. Uh, design rule change, uh, change order. You'll hear it called different things. Okay, so uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go to we're gonna go to rev rev B of the PC board, and this time we're gonna put in uh, we're gonna put in these two we're gonna put in these two resistors. Now that's not adding very 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 little cost. Now you might say, well, just make it a 10 turn pot. Well, those 10, 10, 10 turn pots are expensive, right? <laughs> and two resistors, th that's free. That's basically free, okay? Okay, so now I've changed it into this circuit. So now let's go up here to this, and now I'm going to adjust it. And now it's like, it's like very, very easy. It's very, very easy now to get to that, uh, to get to that perfect, that, that perfect spot there. Now I could make it. I could make it even better. Okay, here I should, should turn that on, right? Um, zero zero. It's very. It's it's. I don't. I'm not fighting it. It's pretty easy for me to dial in uh, within uh, zero five, right? That was my spec zero five. Um, you can make this even better, right? You can make this a one k potentiometer, and your range is limited. But if but if if your circuit accomp uh, gets accomplished by having a certain thing, so this is, this requires some thought and some statistics to know what is the best values to use here, in order to give you the full range that you need, yet make it really really easy to tweak. Okay, and so those adjustments that seem to be very very difficult in instruments, a lot of times could have been solved by putting something like this in there. And for whatever reason, they didn't have the time, they didn't want to spin the PC board, uh, they needed to just get it out. Hey, it was good enough. We've, we have one talented lady who, who, who does the potentiometer stuff and she always gets it right the first time. So yeah, it's fine. Um, there can be a whole bunch of reasons why they didn't go back and re-engineer it.